Um, but I think Ghana has this ambition, since we already have secured our domestic energy supply, we have this ambition to be the first uh, to export power into the power pool. And this is where nuclear energy comes in. Uh, and so my main concern, I started at the, at the Ministry of Finance early in August, um, more so from a research angle, um, where I had previously looked at the role of small modular reactors for a country like Ghana. Um, the conversations, I think, are a bit stunted in terms of what the possibilities truly are. I went to a summit in December with a nuclear caucus and the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, and the focus still is on these 50, 60 year old uh, live water reactors. Um, we're looking to commission a first plant in 2029. And this year, 2018 through 2020, will be when government is expected to decide on the kind of reactor you want, where it's going to be sited, and who gets to build, own, and operate it. And I think now is a critical time to. Uh, to shift the focus of the domestic caucus to be more aspirational, to be more future uh, forward-looking. Uh, in a country like Ghana, the focus right now is not really on climate change per se, but I think that um, advanced nuclear technologies present an incredible opportunity to shift the conversation from these outdated uh, technologies and to look more towards um, how do you really leverage advanced nuclear to tackle concerns that we have locally on job creation, on, uh, on growth, and on position in a country that is that is fit um, for, for the future. And 